what ultimately made you decide to sign that deal? Uh, you know, I was happy. Uh, it was the right thing to do. Um, you know, discuss with my agent, you know, the team, my family. Um, you know, talk to my mother. I asked my mother, do you want to move? She said, no. I said, okay, cool. I'm just going to sign the deal then. <laughs> Uh, but no, this is the place I want to be. This is my home. This is my city. I want to represent Milwaukee. And I want to do this for the next five years. For you, when you think about, you know, your future, it's always about a championship, right? So for you, just what made you believe that this place is, you know, where you can get that done? I think we can, you know, we can get better. I believe um, we can get better. We we got better. Um we have a great team. We have a great culture. I know that I'm working towards that goal. You know, the front office is working towards that goal. So I'm good. You know, I'm happy. I think everybody's on the same page. Um, and at the, end, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, like, you got you to gotta look the past. So, like, we've gotten we've got better every single year. And the, in my opinion, the last two years was the, realistically, the two years we fight for a championship. The years before that, there wasn't a championship years. Right, so I think it's, it's not gonna be easy. You know, every team gotta you know get hurt. Every team gotta um, feel disappointment and um, you know not win it as e easy, right? Because you gotta learn from your mistakes. And I think we've had these two years, and it might be three years, it might be four years that we we gonna feel disappointed. We not we not gonna win. But at the end of the day, I think we work towards the right goal, and um, it's easy to make my decision. Nora Stevenson. You said that this is your home, your city. What does the city of Milwaukee mean to you? And how much was that in your mind as you made the decision? And we was definitely in my mind. You know, the way that this uh, city has supported me and my family has been amazing since day one, since the the day I walked in uh, in this, uh, not this gym, the Crossing Center gym and um, Crossing Center also. It's been amazing. You know, um, I was 18, I'm 26 right now. Um, you know, all I know, all I know is Milwaukee. You know, when I came here, you know, I fell in love with the city. It's a city that loves basketball. It's a city that we obviously we don't have, we have more things to do now. But when I came, we didn't have a lot of things to do. So I could just focus on basketball. Um, and it's a place that I want to be. It's a place that I want to raise my kids. And, um, I feel good here. I feel, I feel that my family feels good here, so I'm good. One quick follow-up. How did you celebrate, Giannis? How did I celebrate? Uh, I didn't do much. Uh, had dinner. Had dinner with my family. Uh, went back home. I went to, um, what's this called? Bye Bye Baby, I think. Bought, uh, bought a lot of uh, toys for Liam. A lot of clothes for Liam. Um... And then just went home, slept, slept a little well. I woke up and came, uh, came to practice. Jim Ozarski. Giannis, um, last time we talked to you uh, about this, you had said it was out of your hands and you were letting your agents and John Horst kind of talk about it. So when did it reach your hands? What was kind of the timeline there? When did, when did they come to you and say, this is what it is, and then you made it happen, I guess? Uh, I probably said that. You know, at the end, you know, when the, um, they were having conversations and, uh, you know, always got feedback from my agent. And um, after the game, I felt like it was the right time to do it. Um, you know, he came back, he told me, um, you know, what the process is going to be like, uh, what, we, what we got in our hands. And I told him, like, what I want to do and uh, what I want to accomplish. And uh, I felt like being in Milwaukee, that's – that's where I'm going to accomplish things, and that's uh, how I'm going to get to my goals. And um, I try to stay away from that because obviously it's a lot. It's a lot, you know. And I don't know if athletes talk about it, but talking about your contract and talking about your future, and if you're going to be here or you're going to move, and numbers that it gets a lot. I don't want to. I don't want to focus on. That. I just want to focus on basketball. I know my family is taken care of, and uh, I knew that I wanted to be here, and uh, I knew that my agent's going to do whatever it took to make that happen. Would, real quick on that end, Giannis, would you have, um, how much would that have bothered you, do you think? If, if you know, you made the decision, I mean, people would have been asking you everywhere you went around the country, around the world, 
over the next year. Was that, did you think about that at all? It's like, that's one of the yeah. repercussions. Yeah. I thought about it, but it would, it wouldn't bother me because I'm a, I'm a person that, you know, try to block that, uh, those questions out. And I would uh, respectfully ask you guys to not ask me about that. And obviously there's going to be cities and um, some people that they're going to ask me about it. But at the end of the day, I think, you know, obviously it gives you, puts a lot of pressure in your, in your hands. It puts a lot of pressure in the organization, a lot of pressure on your teammates. And I, I didn't, I didn't want my teammates to go through something like that. And, um, and, uh, it's, but obviously at the end of the day, like going through something like that makes you tougher for sure. Like it makes you mentally tough. Like it, being able to black all those questions out and uh, people saying you're going to go here, you're going to go there. And while you're playing a game, while you got to encourage your teammates, obviously it makes you mentally tougher. But I, I didn't want to go through that for us, not, not me, not my family, and especially not the organization and my teammates. Eric Woodyard. What's up, Giannis, man? Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, man, you, you took a little time to overthink the decision. Two-part question. Was there any thought, obviously, anywhere outside of Milwaukee at all? And what do you think this does for the balance of power in the league by you staying in the small market, you know, by you staying in Milwaukee instead of, you know, going somewhere bigger, you know what I mean? What you expect me to say? Is, you, you expect me to say that, <laughs> yeah, I thought about it. I was about to leave and go to, um, I can't say team now because they're going to find what's happening. Go to Seattle, Super Sun. That's what you expect me to say. <laughs> not gonna say that. So hey, I had to um, ask you, man. I had to ask you, man. There, there was there was no there was not there was obviously thought behind it, but now the go I wanted to be here, you know, like I want to be here. I want to help my teammates. I want to help this organization win a championship. I want this organization and my teammates to help me win a championship. Obviously, it goes both ways. Um, but as I said, like I try, I, I try. I tried to keep it away from my head. Like it puts a lot of pressure in athletes, and it gave me like gives me it gave me headache all summer. Like people asking me and uh, uh, people talking about me. You know, I just wanted to be left alone. I knew what I wanted in my head. I knew that the goal is to win a championship, and I knew that here we have a chance to win a championship. You know, I think we got better as a team, and we're going to keep put, continue to get better. And there's always a chance. You know, there's always a chance to win a championship here. Steve Ashburner. Hi, Giannis. Um, I'm wondering, with your, your commitment to the Bucks long term, do you think this might make Milwaukee a more attractive destination to players around the league? And how active do you intend to be in, in kind of recruiting talent to come help you now? You, you know where you're going to be. Um, yeah, I think, I hope I make the team more attractive uh, for other players to join. Join the Bucks if uh, if they're willing to join. You know, obviously uh, there's more things to do in the city. There's, we have a little bit more uh, uh, restaurants. Uh, we had uh, you know great great winter, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, I hope that people are willing to come and play here, not just because of you know the city and me, and because of the organization, the culture we have here, and uh, the culture we're trying to to build here. And what was the, what was the second part of the question? The other part, yeah. How active do you intend to be to uh, players and and build up the Bucks and sell them on Milwaukee and its chances? Uh, as a, you know, as an athlete, I just try to focus on what I can do on the court, and um, I know they're going to do the best job, and I, I trust them. They've, they've done they've done an unbelievable job in this past two years, and uh, I know they're going to keep 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 up the good work. Um, no, nah, I'm not, I'm not trying to be active. Like that's something that I, I don't want to do, um, because that involves a lot of people's life and uh, my teammates' lives. And I try to stay away from that. Thanks. Lori Nickel. Giannis, this will be a part of your legacy now. Two-time MVP, hard worker, and the guy who was loyal. My first part of the question is how important is that to you? Just that factor. It's really important. It's really important. You know, at the end of the day, that's that's what stays. Um, you know, I believe in that, and uh, I'm a man of my words. Um, and you know, this is big. This is big. I think uh, you know, being in the team that who trusted me, believed in me, 
um, took care of me, took care of my family, uh, took care of me financially. Uh, you know, I always want to give back. I always want to give back, and I've been trying to give back since day one that I've been here. Uh, but I, you know, I got, I got, I got more to give, and um, I love the city. You know, I love playing uh, with my teammates. You know, I love this organization, and um, at the end of the day, it's easy. You know, it's easy to dip in the first chance. Um, but you know, that's not me as a person. Uh, you know, it's 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 a it's it's a, it's 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 tough because at the end of the day, like no nowhere you go or nowhere you are, guarantee you to win a championship, right? So, but at the end of the day, I I know who I am. I know that I'm a man of my words, and I know. It might take me 10 years or I might never win a championship or whatever the case might be, or I might win five, whatever the case might be. But I know who I am and I know what I believe and I know that I, I stuck when, um, to the people, you know, next to the people that believed in me. Last week it was interesting. You said that you trusted your agent, but you also trusted GM John Horst. I just wondered what your rapport was like with him your relationship with him leading up to this and then through this process. Thank you. Um, my relationship with John Horse has been unbelievable. Before he was a GM, uh, we had a great relationship. We used to go to uh, grab lunch together. We used to talk a lot together. We used to play basketball together. He played basketball with my brothers every single night. Like, you know, I, lo I love this guy. And uh, he's he's been unbelievable in three years. He, He's done a great job, and um, for sure he's um, he's a big part that uh, I want to be here and uh, keep doing this with him. Malika Andrews? Giannis, when you think back to when you were in Greece and, and peddling trinkets with your brothers, what do you think that kid, that person, would have said about this sort of generational wealth that you've just signed for and now are able to provide not only for Liam, but Liam's kids and Liam's kids' kids? Um, you know, obviously, my my 12-year-old self probably tell myself now that I'm extremely proud, you know, of myself and uh, what I've accomplished in um, seven years. Um, you got you to gotta keep working hard, keep your head... Stay humble, keep your head down, and um, you know, stay on course, focus on the goal. Um, but I'm extremely proud. Like, you know, I would never thought, I would never, I could never imagine that I'm gonna be in a position like this, and um, being able to take care of my my kids, uh, my grandkids, my brother's kids, my brother's grandkids. You know, if I'm really smart, um, I'm extremely blessed. I cannot take this for granted. I'm gonna keep having fun. Uh, and I uh, hope my grandkids uh, build a freaking statue for me. I hope they do that shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, Steven Watson. Hey, Giannis, congratulations, man. Um, building off of Malika's question there, I noticed yesterday when you were signing your Supermax extension, you were wearing a necklace around your neck with a photo of your dad. And I just wanted to know what you think he would think of all of this and how proud he would be. He's, he's, he would be extremely proud and he's dancing right now. Like he's, I know, like, I know he's, like he's dancing right now. He's extremely happy for what we've accomplished and he's extremely proud of, of us and who we are as human beings. Um, yeah, he will, he will be dancing. He will dance for sure. And, you know, obviously I, I would want him to be here. But he's always he's always around me with his uh you know spirit, uh. But for sure he would be very proud of what uh, we've accomplished, uh, me and my brothers for sure. Cassidy Hubbard. Cassidy, go ahead. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Giannis. I was dealing with my two-year-old there. Um, congratulations, first and foremost. I wanted to know, did you use one of the pens um, that your teammates gave you to sign your contract yesterday? And uh, when did you tell your teammates or did they find out, like everybody else, with your announcement? Uh, no, no, I didn't tell, I didn't tell nobody. Uh, they probably they found out from, uh, from my announcement. 
that that was the only way for it not to you know get out there, you know, because if you tell one person, it's out there. You won't tell somebody else. So, uh, but no, I didn't. I didn't use. I didn't use uh, their pens. Usually, when you sign a contract, like the organization provides you with a pen. So I've signed three contracts so far. So I got three pens. I don't know where they are. Like my mom takes them and I think maybe sells them on eBay or whatever the case might be. But so if you guys really want those pens, you guys can find them on eBay. Probably my mom sold them. She does stuff like that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't sign the deal with uh, the pens they gave me. No. So who was the first one of your teammates that you heard from after the deal? Oh, Other Chris. 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 He Facetimed me. He faced <laughs> Actually, the funny part. Yeah, the funny part, he FaceTimed me with his uh, daughter, and um, he didn't say anything. He told me congrats and all that, but, like, once he hung up, I thought that was, like, the cue to basically tell me, like, hey, you know, my daughter is available for your son, so now that your son has uh, money, so <laughs> your son can, like, uh, marry my daughter in the future, and they can uh, they can uh, both be okay. Uh, but no, Chris called me. Chris was the first uh, guy to call me, and uh, you know he's my brother. We've done this. Uh, we're going to our eighth year together, and uh, I'm excited to be you know playing with him for the next four or five years together. Thanks, Giannis. Anyway, Lance Allen. Hey, Giannis, congratulations on the deal. Thank you. Um, I'd give you a stock tip, but I think it's a rival of your endorsement, Hulu. So I'll just keep that to myself. We'll talk some Hulu? other time. Hulu, okay. Yeah. Well, there, there's another one that's a rival of Hulu. But, uh, you know, that might Netflix? get you in trouble. Uh, close to that. Roku. <laughs> oh, Roku. Okay. Okay. I'm just helping out. That's a good one. Um, but to much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. So when you get a deal like this, what do you feel like your obligation is to your team and to the community now? To the team? Um, so let me, say, let me talk about what my teammates think. That I like my obligation is they want me to uh, probably buy them uh, watches, stuff like that. So, <laughs> but that's not happening. Uh, uh, if we win, yeah, of course. Uh, but no, yeah, try to give back as much as possible. Um, being smart, obviously, I don't. Um, a person that do not want to be in the light, I want to be left alone. But uh, at the end of the day, I got one of the biggest advice that if you know you go out there and give back to the community other people can follow um but yeah for sure i'm gonna try to give back steve mcgargy congratulations i was just wondering what impact the offseason moves that the bucks made everything they did after the season what impact that had on your decision if you were always kind of leaning in this direction or if that made a difference what they did um no, I was always leaning to this direction. Um, I just wanted the team to be improved and uh, be better, and the team is better. Um, the guys we have, they're great players, um, ready to compete, ready to uh, and defeat our culture, great human beings. And, um, but I, I wanted to be here. I wanted to be here. I knew I wanted to be here, and, um, and I'm here. Andrew Wagner. Uh, kind of building on that, Giannis, uh, I, I'm curious, first of all, uh, I'm sure you heard from a lot of people, both in the league and friends or whatever. Did you talk to Christian Yelich at all as you were thinking about this? Because he was kind of in the same position. He signed a long-term deal in the state of Milwaukee. Just wondering if you guys spoke at all during this. No, no, we, we, did, we, didn't, we didn't speak at all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but if, even if we did, I, I wouldn't tell you. Okay. Well, no, I, I, the, the reason I ask is, you know, and you haven't been to Milwaukee long enough to know it, but yeah. a lot of people that grew up here rooting for the teams, they were used to seeing great players, star players come up in Milwaukee, leave to go elsewhere. So oh, when you walk around the city and you see kids that are wearing your jersey, does it mean something special to you knowing that they're not going to feel that pain of like seeing their favorite player leave and knowing that you've committed to the city and these kids and these fans will have you to root for for years to come yeah okay so first of all i appreciate the fact that you think i'm a great player and i'm a star player thank you for that andrew but uh you know just seeing seeing you know players uh players uh, kids walking around with my jersey that was the first time you know i saw a kid like walking with my uh, jersey i saw it in Milwaukee when i was 18 years old 
you know, and you know that feeling, you know, gets gets stuck with you, you know, and um, obviously, I've seen like people take the um, decide to like leave and they burn the jersey. I've seen that in the past. I didn't want that to happen to me, you know. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to see kids burning my jersey and all that, blah blah blah. But but it, it it's always it's always uh, nice. It's always good to see kids wear my jerseys. Good that kids uh gonna be able to come watch me play and stay in Milwaukee. And um, you know, I know that a lot of great players, you know. Start in one team and then uh, leave to another team, and uh, there's some case that it worked, some case that it, it didn't work. But uh, for me, I don't even view it like I just, I just want to be, I just want to be happy. I want my family to be happy. I want to give back to uh, the community that helped me and um, to the city that drafted me and believed in me, and um, hopefully, hopefully, I can uh, give back to all those kids by them watching me play for uh, five years more. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.